But we saw Infinity Pool, and this was with Eric from True Blood, okay? Who's lost all confidence since True Blood. I mean, Eric really hasn't looked the same. I loved when he was in um, White Little Lies, and he he was known as a woman beater, beating up oh, his wife. Right. Remember that? But you have Infinity Pool, and this star is one of my biggest nightmares. Pearl! <laughs> Mia Goth! And no offense, I don't want to start any shit with Shia LaBeouf. I got Shia LaBeouf coming to my house screaming in my intercom every day now. <laughs> so I don't want any more problems with Shia LaBeouf. He's constantly in my security cam, punching it and screaming. We're not going to open the door, Shia, until you calm down. <laughs> and he's dating this Mia Goth, and you might notice Mia Goth from Pearl and all this. And I don't know if you knew this about Mia Goth, because usually in movies she does an American accent. She's very scary. If you have ever saw Pearl, Pearl was more, for a guy at least, Pearl reminds you like of a scenario where maybe you're asleep and some girl cuts off your dick. That's the vibe that this woman, Mia Goth, gives to people. And, and you're saying you don't find her hot at all? No, I, I am. Uh, that is a Lana Rhodes type of uh, horror, a chill. Again, uh, if she's around me, I'm dead. I'm going to end up dead. So we thought uh, we should see what Mia Goth was like. And we actually have something pretty cool to show you. To show you what she's like. Should I just click this YouTube link here? Yeah, the first one is. And one day. Uh, do I skip ahead or do I just play it? You can go to like, just go to like 50 seconds, I guess. 50. Okay. Of the first link. Yeah. Okay, they're talking to some people here, and you've got Mia Goth. Okay. Oh, so chilling. Isn't that chilling? Isn't she chilling? Wait till you see what she's like. Listen to this. Ego. And that's why this movie's so good, because there's so much to unpack. So I wanted to know, from your vantage point, having played James and Gabby, how are you in personally interpreting this film? I have this a similar reaction well, here's eric scars guard from uh true blood <laughs> remember this guy and he's kind of a fucking putz you know girls don't respect him they think they're gonna like him and then he acts like a big beta on set like giggling and geeking out and then she's like hmm i'm bored i want someone that i could cut up so watch these two together this is actually pretty freaky it's just as scary as a good movie the script uh it touches on so many interesting um, aspects of, of being a human. Like you said, in terms of James, the masculinity, uh, it has that kind of Wait till she starts speaking. Uh, narrative. You're not going to believe There's it. a little bit of that. But first and foremost, I would say the, uh, the way it deals with mortality and our fear of, of, of death and to go on that journey that James goes on to be literally confronted with your own mortality and face-to-face -face with with your own death. Imagine having to, to witness explain that, this to somebody. To see a clone who, who Spoiler is alert. you and who retains all your memories, who believes that he is you, get executed in such a br brutal way. Uh, what does that do to James? Um, Jesus. What does that uh, evoke in, in, in him? And, and where do we take it from there? was really, really fascinating to- Because she's to, about to speak. You know who she reminds me of? There's only one other girlfriend in the world. You know, this is Shia LaBeouf's girlfriend. Freaky. There's only one other girlfriend in the world that's got this much power. And who's this scary that you'll never defeat. And that is a girlfriend of a man named I-Dubs. And the girl is a niece. Yep. Her and her nie a niece would be a good duo. They'd kill a bunch of men. That would be great, honestly. Yes, a niece. Very similar. Watch this. You're gonna hear her speak. Wow. What about you, Mia? What was your personal interpretation of it? Yeah. Uh, when I was reading the script, it seemed like a really interesting uh, meditation on power. That that to me is what um, was really um, um, coming through, and and especially um, 
the kind of the, the corrupting nature of power and, and then even more specifically the female corrupting nature of power. I think we, you know, we see so often um, what that looks like uh, with, with male characters, and, uh, but, but it, uh, it's, it's quite rare to see it um, with... Uh, with, uh, with this the is the type of person you're going to walk in, she's like eating her little brother for some weird... She's done surgery on her brother. She didn't know. What do you do? You walk in and your oldest daughter is doing surgery on your son. What movie was that for? That fucking freaked me out, man. There was a movie where like this, these parents got home. They had left their like daughter and their son and they came home and the daughter opened up like he had the kid on a stretcher and did surgery on him. And the priest were like, no, what did you do? What did you do? And that to me is like, imagine if you walked in and your youngest daughter had cut open your son thinking they were playing that? a game. Oh That's God. like the shit Mia Goth does. And he's fucking worried. Look like how scared. worried he is. He's worried. That's not Northman. Here, go to... Uh... Yeah, this is uh, 340, 340, 345. Okay, 345. Listen to her, um, her uh, method here. side of that power coin, you have this tendency to play such seductive characters, Mia, and, and I love it so much. And I wanted to know what is the key to playing a seductive character and, and how do you personally tap into the art of seduction? I think seduction is something that is quite instinctual. I, 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 you know, I remember, you know, actually not wanting to really know who Alex was. I didn't really want to spend a lot of time with him. Okay, look at this guy's face. Wait. <laughs> really know who Alex was. I didn't really want to spend a lot of time with him. Oh. I thought it was. Keep your eyes up. He's like, you didn't want to spend a lot of time with me. I thought I was really, you were, I thought we were in love from working together. So listen to this crazy psycho's method. Remember, this is just a psycho screaming on screen. She doesn't really need a method. She really should be I mean, she's amazing to me. She's the scariest actress ever. She's really the scariest. I can't wait to see what she does next. And she's real, but listen to what she does. This makes her even more scary. Listen to this. I remember, you know, actually not wanting to really know who Alex was. I didn't really want to spend a lot of time with him. I thought it was it was um, beneficial if actually we were able to have a bit of distance together so that, he, Look at his face. you know, we, we didn't actually get to know, to know each other very well. I'd he heard a lot about him and, and, and how wonderful and, and, and such a sweet man he is. And, and if I knew that and we were to, be, to, to become friends, it would have um, taken away from something, you know? Something that you mystery. can't really explain, and it's Oof. just so I kept my distance. You can't believe and, and, it. I uh, kept my distance. That's Listen. definitely something I, I I I used as a way to kind of to help with um, the seduction, I guess. Wow, what was it like meeting each other then for the first oh, time after filming it? Then, well, I like, mean, we really? did we did meet. We said hello, hi, What's nice this? to this meet you. Crazy. And but <laughs> but I I just kept my distance. I don't even know if you realize that. But like we they would go for dinners and things, and I didn't want to be a part of that. Just kind of. Did you know that, Alexander? Uh, yeah. I, I... Isn't that great, Jules? <laughs> yes. Was the part you wanted to see? So he had no idea. Wait, hold on. There's this part of the Shia LaBeouf interview from ages ago. That's what I was looking for, where he says this. Just trust me. Just watch this clip. Okay, send that over. And now that we all know what her voice sounds like, mm. it makes the image all that much sweeter. Yeah, let's hear this. This is coming through now. This is from that Shia LaBeouf interview with that guy from The Walking Dead. Yes. That creep. This really grinded my gears. A lot of people actually sent me this interview. So this is like fucking arsonists and like child predators and all kind of wild people. Oh, this guy. So he's talking at length about his time in rehab and his recovery. And right now he's in this crazy rehab place, not talking to anyone. He's fooling everyone in this video, and by the this way. This is a story from his time. Yeah. And this guy, this guy, did you see this guy on Rogan? Promising the world. Yes. There is something, believe me, this guy's doing every bad thing you could think of. If they're wearing one of these high hats, 
especially when it's from like a promo, a brand that their buddy owns. This is all bad. Anyone with this type of hatting <laughs> is trouble. You'll never see a decent guy or a guy you need to be around in a high, flat-brimmed hat. They're all bad. All right, so here, watch Shia. Shia, I guess he's going to tell us a little bit about Mia here. People in this group, right? And they got people showing up for them. And Look I don't have nobody hat. showing up. Look at that fucking hat. Burn local. I mean, what would drive you to wear a hat like this unless you were completely crazy? I, I mean, look at that. That looks like a Photoshopped hat that somebody did. A hat sticker on Instagram that you'd throw on. We should show that Selena Gomez clip where they threw a mustache on it. I'll show you that next. That looks like a hat that you'd throw on someone on a TikTok Live. That's ridiculous. Burn local. How about we start with you? Incendio oh, for me <laughs> and well, week two, week three, there I'm there 90 days. So I'm there for a, 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 a clip and there comes a point where family week comes around. I say to my therapist, like, ah, I'm, I'm not going to go, you know, what I mean? like, I don't, I don't want to subject myself to this shit. Like I'm, I'm on a path and, you know, let me just stay here. Like, I don't want to keep reminding myself of how fucked my situation is. Mm -hmm. And, um, and she says, no, nah, this is not an episode of Sons of Anarchy. This actually looks like a scene from Sons of Anarchy Season 7. And the locals were coming. <laughs> I mean, really, these two, look at this. If somebody had Sons of Anarchy music. <laughs> previous, previously on Sons of Anarchy. And then played this with the Sons of Anarchy music. <laughs> Can somebody make that? Previously on Sons of Anarchy. Remember, they used to have a different cast member every week do the previously. That's cute. Sons of Anarchy is filmed in front of a live studio biker gang. <laughs> vroom, vroom, bikers. Hope you enjoy your show. <laughs> this is Sons of Anarchy. Listen to a story. Listen to okay, a story. here, listen. Subject myself to this shit. Like no I'm, one is showing I'm up on a path, and, and you know, let me just stay here. Like, I don't want to keep reminding myself of how fucked my situation is. Mm -hmm. And, um,. And she says, no, nah, I think you should show it to somebody. Yo, Holmes, that just ain't right, Holmes. Life is one struggle after another. <laughs> People in L.A. sure go through like a Mexican struggle, don't they? <laughs> Let me guess, Holmes, you were in AA. They're saying, no incendio. No incendio. Okay, here's this scene that everyone is waiting for here. <laughs> and, um, Riding through this And she world. says, no, nah, I think you should show it this week. And I show up thinking, all right, my mom's going to be on there. You know, my mom will be on. And Mia is on the screen. Mia Goth. And, oh. you know, like, ugh. Yo, man, maybe that's the FBI trying to raid our drop. Right? Shouldn't you guys be running from the helicopters, <laughs> yeah. the choppers? Why are, do the, and both of these guys are not essays, by the way, but they're being artistic. <laughs> Here they are. You don't deserve that kind of shit. You know what I mean? You don't deserve that kind of shit. Uh -oh. Like, like, I don't deserve that kind of shit. You know, I done put, I done put her through years and years of fucking nonsense, bro. Just like. Look at this guy, wait. I Look just thought it, the reason I brought this up is before when I watched this, I was like tearing up because I was like, oh, it's so sweet that Mia showed up for him after all this. But now I see him going, Mia showed up and then he starts crying. Maybe he was crying out of pure fear. I mean, these shock. people are fucking insane. Yes. What? I don't even know what he's saying. I know. Here. You don't deserve that kind of shit. You know what I mean? You don't deserve that kind of shit. He's got a new like, accent. Uh, like, I don't deserve that kind of shit. You know, I don't put I don't put her through years and years of fucking nonsense, bro. Just like I spent twenty years in the slammer, years I will never get back. <laughs> it's like you're not that guy. You're not an older Mexican guy. I've seen a lot of hardships. Where I grew up, we didn't have the money. Maybe. Yes, you did. You're Shia LaBeouf. You grew up doing movies. No, Holmes, he was a lot different than that, dog. Most of my life was spent just trying to get a green card. Oh, it was? A SAG card, you mean? Okay. Look at him. 
I don't have nothing to offer her either. You know what I mean? I'm in the middle of my shit. You know, I'm fucking like, I'm like, I'm like two months into this program. You know, I don't even have nothing going on. I don't even have no, I have nothing, nothing going on. I'm making this list. She's at the top of the list, but I ain't, I'm not reaching out to her or nothing like that. And, uh, and yeah, regardless, you heard her voice. Like, she's like a fucking angel. You know what I mean? She, and, uh, you heard her voice. She's like a fucking angel. And this guy's sitting there like, yeah, yeah, like an angel or a demon or like anything from like, you know, like a demon, like angels. I guess demons are from the same place. So Her voice is like an angel. Somebody Hello, Shire! Where have you been? Put down the knife. I, no, I, I insist I use a knife. <laughs> you can't even do it properly. That's crazy. Her Anyways, voice is, wait, I want to see his face when they say that. Look at this. I, you heard her voice. Like, she's like a fucking angel, you know what I mean? She, and, uh... <laughs> so you know Shia's really in a dark place when he's here an angel, huh? <laughs> you better get your boy. You're his sponsor, right? You have a sponsor? You look like a guy who's got a sponsor out in L.A. Hey, why don't you move out of Venice Beach if you can't handle alcohol? It's not really a good place for you. <laughs> All these guys, Venice Beach, oh, they've got roommates now. Eddie Ift and a bunch of skateboarders. Oh, I hate this scene. I hate that Venice Beach hi-hat scene where they're all trying to come up with excuses to why they have anxiety. Disgusting.